All right, engineering students, what I'm going to do here is create a video. It's going to go through a little slower than what we did as a class. So in case you need to go back and figure out what we did, um, this is what we're going to do. Now, we came in, and the first thing we did as a class is we populated uh, our height in feet and in inches. So that's what we're seeing here. If someone's five foot six, then that's what they would put. If someone's uh, six foot two, if someone's tall, they would put it this way. Our class is a lot larger, so I'm just going to work with this uh, small amount of data to see sort of how we're going to use a spreadsheet with statistics uh, and some of the tricks that it does. It does calculations so quick. It takes the tediousness or the tedium out of it. First thing I want to do is I want to convert this to decimal feet. I can't calculate anything when my measurements are in two different units, feet and inches. So I'm going to turn it all to feet and decimal feet. And I'm going to do that by uh, hitting equals. That tells the the uh, program, the spreadsheet program that I want to do a, a calculation or a function. And I'm going to reference what I, what do I want to do? I want to take five feet. So I want to take the value that's in here, A3. So I'll click it. And I want to add to it uh, the decimal portion of this. How much of, a, of another foot is this? And that would look like this then. I'm going to add plus, use parentheses, the value in inches, which this first one is in uh, B3, and then I'm going to divide that by 12. And you'll see why I put 5 foot 6 for the first one. A check for us should be, well, 5 foot 6 inches is 5 and a half feet. So we know that the function we put in there worked correctly. So I highlight that. I go over to the corner. I get this special little plus-looking uh, cursor, and I drag it down. Boom, it does all those calculations like that. We don't have to do it each and every time. Second part, let's move on. Um, part of the thing that we need to know for statistics, averages and standard deviations, is we have to know how many uh, measurements or how many in a population that we're dealing with. So we could go through and count. This one's not that big of a, a population, right? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But in reality, you know, designers, engineers, and scientists work with millions and millions of those. Uh, different measurements. So we're going to use a feature in here. We're going to tell, again, we want to do a calculation. I'm going to equal, and I'm going to start typing the word count. And you'll see that I get that. I'm going to plug that in, and it's, it's um, specifying some values. So I'm going to highlight this data, close it, and what did it do? It just counted the numbers that was in there. So in this case, it comes up to seven. So it didn't do anything super powerful for us in this one, but imagine if you had hundreds or thousands of data points, it would do that for you like that. Um, next thing we'll do is we'll do the sum. And we know we could add these up without too much problems. But again, imagine you're adding a millions of numbers up. We want the computer to do it for us. So again, equal, and then built into almost spreadsheet is a sum function. There it is, sum. It's asking for what do we want to add up. I'm going to highlight A3 through 9, close it, sum. All of those are added up together. But you know what? That's not what I want to sum. That's my mistake. Right? I'm going to go back here. Made a mistake. I don't want to sum the feet. I want to sum the total decimal feet. So I'm going to put this in there. Um, the count's not going to change because there's still... Uh, five of the or seven of those in there so the sum of all my feet and decimals 39.5 feet if I laid these uh, seven people end to end they're gonna span a distance of 39 and a half feet next parts the average and I know what the average is it's just the sum divided by the count right so let's do this uh, the sum is right here in that cell I'm gonna divide it by the count here so the average height of our group here, of our seven people, is 5.64 feet. Now, standard deviation. If you remember doing this by hand, got so tedious, uh, let's have the computer do all the grunt work for us. What are we doing here? X is the measurement. That's this. Mu, which is U in this case, is our average. That's this. So watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go equals, and I'm going to specify this. I want to take this and I'm going to minus and I want to minus this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in there and see what happens. So it gives me the difference, but watch what happens if I drag this down. Uh, it returns the same value. It's not doing the subtraction. And the, and the reason is, is because when I drag this down, 
it's looking to drag down to compare these values with these values and there's nothing here so what I have to do is I have to go back up to that first function I'm going to delete these and I need to fix it so it uses this value each and every time rather than dragging that down there's a special thing in spreadsheets that we do with dollar signs to do that so over here in the function I'm going to put dollar sign F and dollar sign three what that means is it's no longer going to try to drag down this column so let's hit enter and it gives me that and I'll pull that down and there's our differences right some of them are negative some of them are positive and that's what we thought we'd see next one is we want to square those differences right that's really easy to do also it equals we're gonna do a calculation I want to take what's in this column and I want to square it. So squaring is the caret. It's like raising to the exponent power. It's pointing up to the top of the number, to the 2 power. I'll hit Enter, and I'll pull that down. Gave me all of the squares there in that case. That's overboard with the decimals, right? We know that we don't have that much precision in those. I'm going to knock those down to about three decimals. So we can do it this way. And... Uh, I'm kind of particular. I like to have these guys centered. All right. And what the heck? Let's bold them too. All right. So now we're going to get those final things that we wanted to uh, to look at. I'm going to move over here a little bit. And we want to sum this column. Remember, the last thing we did on that data sheet was sum that. And again, we're going to use the sum function. Equals sum. Go ahead and highlight the things I want to add up. Oops, I screwed up. I put the wrong thing in there. Right? No underscore. There shouldn't be an underscore in there. And I summed all of those things up. The last thing I need to do then is I need to do that function for the standard deviation. If you remember, the standard deviation was equal to the square root. And that in this is SQRT of the sum of, the, of uh, these. So that's this value divided by the count, and the count was this value. I hit that. That gave me the standard deviation then of that, the measure of the spread of the data. And again, too many decimals. We don't know with, to that exactness what the standard deviation is. I like to center those things. And let's bold them too. So again, look how fast that is. And again, just because this was 7, we could do it at about the same speed with 100 or with 1,000 sets of data. We had the calculator or the uh, computer do it for us. Last thing we'll take a look at is the range. The range is uh, pretty simple to do. We're going to tell it to find the max and the min. So watch this. Equals, I'm going to do max. So it's going to look for the maximum of some data. And this is the max I want to look. I want to subtract from that the min. And again, I'm looking for the same data. And it tells me the range of people's heights in this one is 1.25 feet from the smallest to the shortest to the tallest. All right, so one and a quarter feet. All right, anyways, uh, so this, these are the skills that we want to practice. We'll take a look at doing the histograms uh, with the computer, which we'll do that really fast next. I have a hard time stopping this bad.